Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the last episode of my parking test tips and this is my angle or 60 degree parking uh, test. So I'm gonna share with you some of the tips which I've actually um, use while I'm doing the parking so you guys can pass your test you know your parking test as well so I prepared the presentation like the other two previously uploaded videos which is the parallel parking and garage parking test if you haven't checked that out I'm gonna post the link up in here so without further ado let's get started all right this is basically a guideline or my guide on how to pass your angle or 60 degree parking test so let's just say this is your parking spot so before we do anything else I would also suggest that you remember to put your seat belt on do the mirror check the, put the indicator of course um, release the handbrake and do a shoulder check it is very very important that you do all these things before you even move the car because sometimes you know we are rushing and we tend to forget to put the seat belt and that's actually an automatic fail so and the others are like minor mistakes so make sure that you do those things as well okay okay so first position the car as near to the left side as possible and just before your parking spot so let's just take note this is not this is your car I put the indicator on and this is the parking spot technically angled parking is the easiest of all the parking tests um, rather than the garage parking and the parallel parking more easier than those two Okay, so move your car straight very, very slowly. The key on all the parking tests is to make sure you drive very, very, very slowly. Okay? Alright, next step. So, also I would like to suggest to avoid dry steering. Dry steering is actually moving the steering wheel without moving the car. The RTA also deducts some points to that. You know, that's going to get you a lot of points. Okay, so let's say that your right mirror is aligned with pole C. Because the distance between pole C and your car right mirror is not going to be near. So it's a little bit far. Just try to gauge how, you know, if you can see pole C on your right side. But actually start turning the wheel full to the right. So that is the sign that you're going actually inside your parking spot. Okay, next. So, your car should be actually looking like this in my uh, diagram, okay? Not really inside, but it should actually pos be positioned going inside already. Once your car went inside the parking spot, okay, try to slowly turn the wheel to the left to make your car straight. So, first you turn your um, steering wheel full to the right and you are already inside the parking space, make sure that you know you don't uh, move more going to the right otherwise you're gonna hit the pavement and that's gonna be a fail so once you are just inside the parking space just start turning the wheel to the left so that your car will be straight and level to the parking okay and then just slowly slowly drive straight make sure you don't touch any pole there's gonna be actually another pole in front in here and make sure you don't touch that once you feel that you are already inside the parking space enough with the adjustment and do a full stop make sure that you straighten the wheel as well and you know make the proper adjustment put your gear to P and lift the handbrake means that you are already done with parking and that means that you already pass okay so once you're in the parking of course you need to go out okay so before you even go out make sure that you don't forget to put your gear to drive release the handbrake put your signals check the mirrors and the surrounding as well the key to actually do doing the angle parking is that when you reverse you you're gonna need either to look in your mirror in the rear mirror on the side mirrors or turn your head behind okay so that you're gonna actually see where you're going to that is actually how I do it outside but I'm looking at the rear mirror onto the side mirrors constantly that's gonna help you you know guide if you're gonna hit something or just make sure that you check those mirrors okay all right so reverse your car slowly while looking at the mirrors to see behind so this is what I just said 
okay? So as I've mentioned, this is really, really, really easy. So if ball A is already leveled with your left mirror, start turning your wheel full to the right. It means that you have to start maneuvering to go out. Okay, and your car at the end should be positioned as it was from the beginning. Make sure you don't touch the lane. As I've mentioned in my previous video because uh, RT also deducts some points to that. Okay, so that's how it should look like. And then slowly straighten the wheel once the car is out and keep reversing until your car is straight. So make sure that you do a full stop, put the gear into P and lift the handbrake. That means that you're done with the parking and you should be able to pass, okay? During the practice, if you have concerns, you wanted to ask your instructor for some tips or you wanted to ask them what are the things that you could possibly do while doing the angle parking, something like, you know, out of the books, I'm pretty sure that they'll be going to help you out. So I think that's just about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope this really helped you out. I'm really sorry that I uploaded this a little bit late because things are really, really busy at the moment. Yes, I will be posting more videos in the near future. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do subscribe in my channel by clicking that subscribe button down below and, you know, put that notification bell as well so you get notification whenever I upload new videos. And if you have like requests or something that you wanted to see, uh, you know, see me do for videos, let me know in the comment section down below as well. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. And with that, thank you so much again for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye.